Hi there, I'm Simone Radley from England and Nails and in this video we are going to be doing another lockdown challenge. So for this challenge I have looked on another one of my favourite Instagram accounts which is called Kooky Wood. Um, I love this account because they basically do up um, retro furniture, so old stuff like G-Plan and things like that. They do it up and they paint it all and make it look amazing. So this is where I've got my inspiration picture from. So I'm working on a fit tip today and I'm going to buff the tip first, just lightly, just to make sure that my eyelag adheres properly. And I'm just going to dust that off and then wipe it with some green cleaner just to make sure I've got all the bits off. And this design has come from this set of drawers. And to be honest, I love all the stuff that they do, but this one just stood out to me. I like the different colours and I like the print on the top. Um, it's Dalmatian, I think they've said. And, you know, I do like an animal print of any kind. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do a base colour of I-156. If you're using this, make sure you do it nice and thin so that it doesn't wrinkle when you put it in the lamp. So when I'm using this, I kind of feel a bit like... Kind of like I'm scratching it on a bit. <laughs> So it's nice and thin. <laughs> so you can see how thin it is and how much I've picked up, which is not a lot. And this is quite a big fit tip, it's a size one. So you can see you don't need a lot at all. And pop it into cure for 60 seconds. So once that's cured, I'm gonna come in and do a second coat of 156 because I'm going to do like half and half, so the top half of this is going to stay white, so I want to make sure it's not patchy. So again, keep your second coat nice and thin. And then pop it into cure for 60 seconds again. So once that's cured, I'm going to do my half a nail the other colour. So the other colour that I've chose is I186 for the pink part of the drawers. I love this colour, it's such a nice colour. It's just like really dusky. So I'm just going to use the brush from the bottle and I'm going to just paint horizontal. I always get these mixed up but yeah it's horizontal. Like a horizontal line across where I want it. It doesn't have to be dead neat because I'm going to line it as well. And I'm just painting the bottom section pink. Again, you don't need loads of this colour because it's so highly pigmented. And I'm going to do another coat as well. So once you've done your first pink coat, pop it into cure. So now that that's cured, I'm going to do a second coat of pink, just to obviously make sure it's a nice coverage, make sure it's not patchy, because the pink, the bottom of this, the pink bit, is going to stay pretty much pink. I'm going to add some lines to it, but I'm not going to cover the colour too much. And then pop that into cure. So now that's cured, I'm going to come to do my Dalmatian top. So for that, I'm going to use the black no wipe gel paint. You don't have to use it. Obviously, you can use eyelac or whatever else you want. But I like to use this because I find with this, I can get that kind of textured look that I want because it it doesn't self-level so your design won't spread out so because I want it a bit bitty and textured this will be a good thing to use so I'm going to use my vice versa brush for this and I'm just going to grab a bit of paint out 
and use my palette. Oh, I've got an itch, sorry. <laughs> it's my hair, it's itching my face. So I'm gonna use my palette to dab my brush on because I don't want to do it in blobs because I want it to be textured. And this is a really good brush to use for that as well. So I'm just sort of dabbing it out and then I'm just going to kind of wiggle, just like wiggle bits on so that they're not really even. And then I'm just going to go around and fill it up basically. You've got some bits that are bigger, some bits that are smaller. Some bits that are a bit sort of curved. And then once you're happy, pop it into cure for 60 seconds. So now that it's cured, I'm going to just add a little bit more with some Golden Girl gel paint. This is one of my favourite gel paints, I must admit. I just love metallic stuff. Anything metallic, anything shiny, I love it. And I'm going to use my 15mm liner brush for this. So I'm going to put gold on because on the drawers it's got some gold handles which I thought were really nice. So I'm just going to add a little bit of gold, not loads. I'm just going to grab some out of the pot with my brush and then pop it onto my silicone pad and put the lid on so it doesn't cure in the pot. So I'm going to put a diagonal line through here just to separate, separate it out. So if you've not seen these challenges before or you've not taken part, this design that I'm doing is just quite a sort of simple, quite easy design um, just to sort of start you off giving you a bit of an idea of what you could do from this picture and then the idea is that you have a look at the picture and do whatever you want to do so it's something fun to do you'll get a little prize if you're the winner um, and you can do one tip two tips you can do ten you can do it on a person do it on yourself it's entirely up to you it's just something to have a bit of fun really so i put my gold line through the middle and i'm just going to add a few more little gold lines not a lot she says this is usually when i get carried away so i'm rolling my brush in my paint so it's nice and even and well covered and I just want some straight lines, which is basically like the handles on the drawers. Except mine are going to be, um, they're not all together in a row. So I'm just filling it in, in the, sort of working in the same pattern. Well, they're really thin, so I'm not totally filling in the colour and getting rid of all the pink. I don't want to totally get rid of it at all. I just wanted to add in a bit more of a gold flash. And then I'm going to pop that into cure. And I'm going to cure it for 120 seconds just to make sure that the gel paint's properly cured. So now that that's come out of the lamp, I'm going to top coat it. And if you look at the picture, it's all matte, which obviously I love. But I'm going to do this half and half because I want to stick to the half and half that we've got. And also I like the difference between the matte and the shiny. I think it, it looks really good. So I'm going to use velvet matte top coat. And I'm going to do this on, if I can open it. I'm going to do this on the Dalmatian print because... Well, Dalmatians are matte, aren't they? They're not shiny. <laughs> Obviously, you could do it shiny, but... I just love a bit of matte. Oh, no, I'm not. Be sensible, Simone. Because you know what happened? If I put matte on there, all my Dalmatian blobs would all... bleed everywhere. So, 
I'm going to top coat the whole thing first in rock plus. I never do that. It's a good job I caught myself at the last second, otherwise I'd have been so annoyed that all my Dalmatian dots would bleed everywhere. So I'm just going to make sure the whole thing is nicely top coated. Oh, I love it. I love the combo of the colours and the print looks so nice. I want a full set. So when you top coat it, pop it into cure for 60 seconds. So once that's cured, now I'm going to make half of it matte. So I'm going to use the velvet matte top coat. I'm going to just spin it round because I can. And I'm going to just matte over my Dalmatian print. So I'm going to use the brush and just sort of walk it up to that gold line all the way along so I'm just pushing the top coat up to where I want it got my hair in it not in the nail just in the shower <laughs> make sure it's all nicely covered in your mat I think this might be my favourite pop it into cure for 60 seconds and then once it's cured, I'm just going to wipe it with the green cleaner because obviously I've got a sticky layer on my shiny bit at the bottom. And that is it. And I think this is probably my favourite one yet. Yeah, I really love this one. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to send your entries to joanna at ink nails nails.com. I always forget it because um, we're really looking forward to seeing all of the different things that you come up with um, and then we will announce the winner in a week's time obviously in another video on our YouTube channel so keep your eyes peeled I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye